Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Sinaya on ISM. And thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So you all remember that I posted something about Project 2025 and how a lot of people are not finding it funny. People coming out also to enlighten people about Project 2025 and the rest of it. So you all know that uh, Trump is actually associated with uh, Project 2025. And to my greatest surprise, it actually came out to tweet to make a tweet saying that uh, he knows nothing about Project 2025. And he has no idea who is behind it. I disagree with some of the things they are saying. And some of the things they are saying are absolutely ridiculous. I mean, then I am saying that uh, this man actually came out to lie in everybody's face that he does not know anything about Project 2025. And it is not associated with him only for a video to surface online where they saw him and the people that are heritage, that are in charge of heritage project also got connection and i am asking who is lying to who i see a lot of people trying to also enlighten people to tell people that trump is not ready to be seized, that he is good for their post or he's qualified to be the next president and at the same time telling people that you should not look at his uh, personality that you should focus more on his political ambition or agenda but i haven't really seen him with a uh, uh, I haven't really seen his manifesto or what he has mapped up for people that look like me. Let's get into this. What you got to say about Project 2025? Have you heard of Agenda 47? It's the actual platform that Trump is going to push when he becomes president. It's listed on his official campaign website. Project 2025 is not to be found there. Supposed to make it legal to be That's nothing to do with Trump. Trump has neither endorsed nor supported this platform. Nor is it something that he's interested in. It's just another tool to fear among you and to just continue to vote for the same people over and over again and never breaking the cycle of chaos that we see within the black community. Uncle Tom. It makes sense, man. But listen, do you. Be mad at what you want to be mad at, but you ain't mad at Trump. Aha, that was a funny little skit. But if you're going to gaslight, I would recommend trying a little harder. See, after the president of the Heritage Foundation went on Steve Bannon's radio show the other day. Steve Bannon, who worked in the Trump administration. To say that we're in the middle of the second American revolution that'll be as bloodless as the left allows it to be, which rightfully freaked a bunch of people out. Trump and all the Trumpettes have been in damage control. And here comes Topher Town Music in order to sweep up the pieces and claim that this has nothing to do with Donald Trump. It's not his official policy proposal. As if you motherfuckers forgot that we're on the internet, somewhere where everything has a paper trail. Trump's main super PAC has been pushing a website that is farming the engagement off of Trump and Project 2025 to compare Biden and Trump's policies. Doesn't support Project 2025, but is sure fine being associated with it. Trump's chief of staff at the U.S. Office of Personnel Management, his associate director of presidential personnel, and his other associate director of presidential personnel are all on the Project 2025 team. Trump's national press secretary working on Project 2025, Heritage Foundation YouTube channel. In fact, Project 2025 was created by a conservative think tank named the Heritage Foundation. Here's what Trump said about the Heritage Foundation. Because you understand that our glorious heritage is the foundation of everything we hope to achieve. Which is why we need the help of the Heritage Foundation and everyone here tonight to get our tax cuts through the House through the Senate. Don McKenty, the former director of the White House Presidential Personnel Office under Trump, is working as a senior advisor on Project 2025. That's this motherfucker, by the way. Just so we know. Have you heard of Agenda 47? Let's talk about Agenda 47. Agenda 47 is something that Trump has rolled out himself, but why doesn't he mention it much? Could that be because more than it being a string of solid policy proposals, it was more focused at getting him to win the Republican primary by shooting back at a lot of the stuff that was going on at the time, which is why nothing has been updated on the website since December of 2023. But let me say that you're right, and he has nothing to do with Project 2025, and he doesn't even want that to happen. Let's look at what the fuck he wants to happen. Trump has come out in favor of mass deportation. Trump targeting people who are also legally living in the United States but harbor jihadist sympathies, incoming constitution violation, reinstating the Muslim ban, incoming constitutional violation, getting rid of birthright citizenship and ensuring that at least one parent is a full US citizen before the child is eligible for a social security number, anything, making it real funny for the majority of illegal immigrants who are actually overstaying their visas when somebody gets pregnant. By the way, scrape constitutional violation. A 10% tariff on fucking everything. Funnily enough, because we're not gonna have enough tax money after he extends tax cuts for rich people again, resulting in an extra $1,700 of costs for average American families. Cutting funding for schools with mass mandates, eliminating fucking teacher tenure, and uh, promoting prayer in schools. Scrape constitutional violation. Oh, and teaching patriotic education and giving Miss Johnson 
person a Glock 9 to protect the classroom. The problem is even if you were right and everyone responsible for Project 2025 wasn't already immediately in connection with Donald Trump and the Trump administration, and if he didn't come out as a big fan of the Heritage Foundation, many of the things he said are also in Project 2025 and are also fucking horrible. And you're telling me it's not because Trump understands that this batshit crazy plan is a literal cancer to say out loud, it's actually because this is not what's gonna happen and all those motherfuckers who are rocking with him in the past are just gonna magically vanish if he gets elected again. Let me put this in a little skit where I sound sane despite the fact that everything about this is legitimately fucking insane. I'd appreciate it if you as a black man could stand on your anti-minority, anti-democracy beliefs as opposed to saying, don't worry guys, nothing will happen, they're just trying to scare you. Because then at least I know you're not deliberately lying to cover up the fact that what you believe and represent is an oxymoron. Good day. Donald Trump says he knows nothing about Project 2025 and has no idea who's behind it. He says he disagrees with some of the things they're saying and some of the things they're saying are absolutely ridiculous and abysmal. Anything they do, I wish them luck, but I have nothing to do with them. People think America's pastime is baseball, but I think America's pastime is genocide and lying. As it takes about 10 seconds of Googles to find Donald Trump's extensive historical connection to the Heritage Foundation and their Project 2025 plans. Here's Donald Trump giving a speech at the 2017 Heritage Foundation's President's Club meeting. You can find former Trump cabinet members that now call the Heritage Foundation home. Here's Donald Trump shaking hands with the president of the Heritage Foundation, Kevin Roberts. At the Heritage Foundation's President's Club meeting, Trump said that he needs the Heritage Foundation in order to achieve his MAGA agenda. People know what Project 2025 is now. We know the plan, and I think that they didn't want us to know the plan until Trump was elected. So now he's gaslighting us, but we're not stupid. We are in the process of the second American revolution, which will remain bloodless if the left allows it to be. You know what? This comment is valid and he's not the only one saying stuff like this. How do we know that Donald Trump is a part of Project 2025? He has his own agenda. How do we know that he's even aware of this? And here's the deal. Donald Trump claims he isn't. He posted, I know nothing about Project 2025. I have no idea who is behind it. He goes on to say he disagrees with it, wishes them luck, etc. And you got to take the man at his word, you know, unless there was proof out there that all or some of this is a lie. Your organization is named the Heritage Foundation because you understand that our glorious heritage is the foundation of everything we hope to achieve, which is why we need the help of the Heritage Foundation and everyone here tonight to get our tax cuts through the House, through the Senate. I have no idea who is behind it, he said. And then I played a clip of him talking about the Heritage Foundation to the Heritage Foundation in front of a backdrop that says the Heritage Foundation on it. I would say it is a 100% impossibility that he doesn't know who Kevin Roberts, the president of the Heritage Foundation, is. Oh, look, there's Donald Trump meeting Kevin Roberts on stage and shaking his hand. But maybe that's the only connection. Or, you know, maybe not. Uh, do you remember this guy, John McKenzie? You may have seen him recently when he got some flack because he likes to make uh, shit post videos on TikTok. He made one where he claims he hands out counterfeit bills to homeless people in the hopes that they'll get arrested. And he used to be a personal assistant to Donald Trump during his first term. Well, as you can see, in May of last year, the Heritage Foundation was proud to announce that John McKenzie joined them as part of the Project 2025 team working with them. But hey, maybe him and Trump, uh, they aren't so close anymore. Well, according to this article by Rolling Stone from May of this year, a full year after he was added to Project 2025, Trump could make this viral TikToker one of the most powerful people in government. The former president loves him. He's one of the architects at Project 2025, and he's almost certainly going to be part of Trump's administration. He's not part of his administration yet, so I don't count that. Okay, cool. How about her? You think Donald Trump knows her? As in her, Caroline Levitt, Trump campaign national press secretary. Literally, the press secretary for his current presidential campaign. And oh look, here she is starring in a Project 2025 Presidential Administration Academy recruitment video for the Heritage Foundation. Donald Trump 
looking you in the face saying he doesn't know anything about Project 2025 and he doesn't know anyone who's involved in it has the same energy as a toddler whose face is covered in chocolate frosting telling you, I have no idea who ate that cake. Lastly, I'll leave you with this. Uh, several people have asked, where did this list come from? Where can I see the list? There's a bunch of lists like this out there. If you really want to confirm this list, honestly, I could send you to places where you can see a picture of the list, but that's not really the thing. If you want to confirm all this, Google Project 2025. Their website comes up, and you can read the almost 1,000-page document for yourself and see every one of these line items in great vivid detail, and I encourage anyone with the time uh, to do exactly that. Project 2025, fine. I'll do a video about it. It's got to be the most requested topic in the last week, and here's why. Because they are artificially creating outrage around it. Because the virality of the topic is complete propaganda. How do I know? Because they all hit the same talking points. How many times have you heard the phrase conservative LinkedIn? It doesn't even make any sense. Project 2025 is a document and outline made by the Heritage Foundation, their conservative think tank. Project 2025 is basically their wish list of things that they'd like to see done. It was written almost two years ago and have been available to the public to read and review. Every six months or so, the paid propagandists push out the fear mongering and the fact that so many people are asking me about it, it's clearly working. Heritage Foundation is one of almost 2,000 think tanks in America. It's a big one, but not linked to Trump in any way. Want to know what Trump's plan for office is? It's called Agenda 47. You can find it on his website. Just do a quick search. If you want to be concerned, maybe focus on the UN's Agenda 2030, which almost the entire world has signed, including the US, or focus on the Pandemic Treaty, which the US has also actually signed. You're so focused on document of ideas and ignore actual agreements world governments have signed without your consent or approval. When it seems like everyone is talking about the same thing, more often than not, it's manufactured propaganda. You know. I don't think black people deserve equality and equity because they could never get enough. That is what somebody who is white told me the other day to my fucking face. Black people do not deserve equality because they could never get enough. Translation, I love and I am obsessed with white supremacy. I love being a colonizer. I love receiving undue resources from black and brown folks. I love the inequality that benefits me as a white person. America's love and obsession with white supremacy will be the death of us. I have been saying that since 2015. A felon is gonna be president, possibly, right? And if he's elected president, now he can act with complete immunity, set up a fascist regime. Democracy would become a theocracy or whatever, authoritarian, totalitarian, God knows what it will go back to Jim Crow 2.0, whatever it may be. That could happen. Why? Because of the white man's love and obsession with undue resources and fake ass white supremacy, white privilege, all that fake undue inequality, injustice, all that shit as colonizers that the white man culturally, systemically has stolen and wants to keep it alive. And the white man thinks, well, Trump will help me keep my white privilege, will help me maintain white supremacy and keep my place in society. And I won't be threatened by brown and black folks. Trump's going to protect me. Well, guess what? It will be that love of white supremacy that destroys America and takes away all your democracy, liberty, and freedoms. So congrats, white America. <laughs> That great neglected sin, the most neglected sin in America, will be the destruction of this country. If you let that white supremacist motherfucker, that rapist motherfucker, that convicted felon, into office, it will be the end of America. And it will be white America's fault. So this is all I got from the stitches and this, this, uh, this is really getting so real, you know, not like it has not been real, it's been real, but the lies and the going back and forth and all that is just really amazing how they've been trying so hard to hide the fact that uh, Trump is behind uh, Project 2025, right?
I mean, Project 2025 did not start today. This actually started since last year. And a lot of Black content creators posted it. A lot of people were uh, vocal enough to talk about it and all that. And also, uh, Taraji was on um, BET Award. She also mentioned that trying to enlighten people and tell people what is happening and the rest of it. The truth is that some people do not find anything wrong with this. And they've been high. Okay, now... Some people are trying to tell us that uh, Trump did not have any connection with what it's going on. It's really amazing how some people are going to look look black people or look other people of color in the face and tell them that uh, he is not part of the part of Project 2025 and there is no need for people to worry and all that. People are very worried because if you take your time to look at the Project 2025, you will be very frightened. And I do not blame anybody being frightened, frightened because... I really don't understand how all these are going to happen. And now, did I tell you that Trump actually made a tweet saying that uh, he doesn't know anything, that he is not associated, he should not be associated with anything that got to do with Project 2025 and the rest of it. But trust me, he is also saying that he doesn't know anything that got to do with heritage and all that, but he was linked and uh, to then. And not like they have also like, you know, had meetings and all that. Why all the lies? The truth is that people really need to be very, very, like, you know, very careful and should uh, should be able to understand what it's going on. Because some people are thinking that, uh, uh, like, you know, uh, that we just do not want him to, I'm not going to say what. Uh, that black people and other people do not want him to be the president because they think it's way to the seas. But I see a lot of the governors say he is not. Just that people are being so much concerned about his uh, personality instead of talking about politics. Is somebody's personality not part of his political agenda? Of course it is, because if I do not, your personality will also determine what your political agenda would be. So anybody coming out to say that uh, I do not trust him to be the president or to be the next president, do I blame the person? I do not blame anybody because the lies that they've been telling are actually unfolding and all that. I see a lot of Uncle Rukus coming out here to gaslight us. The fact that some of them are seeing what is going on but still come out to gaslight themselves is really amazing. They feel like black and brown people do not deserve anything. Okay, and you all also do not deserve anything. And then the same Heritage Foundation that he is trying to disconnect himself with, uh, he is also connected to them. And why all the lies? Why is he even like him? I just don't get it. And Mark, what was his name? I think Mark Ante or something that his name is. That man has actually, I am kind of surprised to find out that that man is also part of his political team because that man has been on Twitter, uh, on TikTok coming in so many news ads. It's really crazy how all the people that are associated with him are kind of people that come out to say some certain things that are not supposed to be said because for somebody to come out to say that after the election and if you do not uh, accept the result, that is going to be law and D. Like, are you for real? It's more like threatening people, you know? And the fact that people See him as somebody that is trustworthy. It's just another one. But I am not going to say anything about that. I will leave it all for you all. And uh, oh, everybody really, all hands really have to be on deck this time around. You know what? See you all in my next video. Bye for now.